What's going on, workforce? Brian here. I hope you're having a great day. I know that I am. So let's talk about some storm blood. So ever since the EU FanFest revealed that Samurai was going to be the second and last job that they're going to introduce with Stormblood, plus the fact that it's a DPS along with Red Mage, which is also a DPS, there's been a lot of hubbub about the fact that we're not getting any new tanks or new healers, and the concern is, is that everybody's going to have that full-on rush to play both those jobs, and we're gonna be left wishing that somebody would come along and, and either tank or heal. However, with the release of the benchmark this last weekend, we've got a look at several of the job's new abilities. One of which I incorrectly identified as Tri Disaster for Summoner, but Taiwanu Khan, forgive any mispronunciation, uh, pointed out that that actually looks like a new summoner ability, maybe even in the vein of Ravana. If you take a look at the screenshot, you'll see that they've got wings that are coming along with the spell with the various orbs rotating around the spell itself. So a brand new ability for summoner, which I missed, as well as they also pointed out that I missed Ultros hiding off in the corner. But I digress, and this brings me to the question that I want to ask the community. Does seeing these abilities on these jobs that we already have change your entire strategy when it comes to Stormblood. Do you still think that everybody's going to rush Samurai and Red Mage? Or do you think that maybe we're going to see people maybe take an interest either in their current job, or do you think they might even check out any of the existing jobs that we have now? Because again, the battle system is changing. Do you think everybody's going to rush Red Mage or Samurai? Just based off of what we've seen. Personally, I feel that when Stormblood launches, we're actually going to have 15 new jobs. And that's based off the fact that the battle system is changing. And even Yoshi P said earlier on that there's a high probability that some of the abilities that we maybe got later, whether it was in ARR or Heaven's Word, are going to be shifted to much earlier in the job's leveling structure. And obviously we're still not talking about a complete overhaul of the battle system. I know a lot of people are like, oh man, maybe they're going to drop GCD down to 0.5 seconds. And while I don't feel like that's going to happen anytime soon. I just want to reiterate that chances are we're not going to see a complete overhaul of the system. Yoshi P said that. Um, as to what we can expect and what your definition of overhaul is, that's always going to be debatable and that's something we can always have that conversation on. But all that being said, I think that come June 16th, we're all going to have to relearn the jobs, not just for the varying abilities that get shifted or, or changed, but also the job specific UI, what that means, cross role systems. You know, there's going to be a lot that we're going to have to get accustomed to, which is exciting uh, because it's going to be something that we're going to see, you know, go and last and have probably some adjustments over the next two years, at least before we see 5.0 release. But I would love to know what you think. Do these abilities reaffirm your excitement for your existing job? Do they make you want to check out any of the existing jobs or are you still planning on beelining it for Red Mage or Samurai? Let me know in the comments below and let's have that conversation. So this week we announced our Patreon and I just want to say thanks to everybody who supports us here as well as there. Uh, thank you so much. And as a part of that initiative, we're actually launching a work to game t-shirt. Now the plan is, is that we're going to have these t-shirts in limited run, you know, maybe change them out every month and just kind of have some really fun, cool designs uh, that we have created ourselves. And so you can actually see the t-shirt for the month of May up on the screen right now. Now this is a shirt that says, hey, I love Red Mage, but I also love Brian's sense of humor. So this month's t-shirt is going to be Red Mage Reviews the Swiss Army Knife. So if you've been following this channel for a while, you'll probably know that I'm a cartoonist and varying thumbnails, you can see all the various art that I kind of put together uh, just to kind of help promote the videos themselves. And so this is a version of my Red Mage that is holding up a Swiss Army Knife. Uh, <laughs> and personally, I think it's freaking hilarious but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. So if you guys want to check out that t-shirt, you can check out the link below, or for our Patreon subscribers at that particular I Love T-shirts level, you'll also be getting this as well. But on that note, let me know what you think about this shirt, and if you guys have any ideas or any kind of thing you'd like us to be able to create and offer here on the channel. So continuing our conversation about the battle system, some of you have speculated that adding in the cross role ability system might not necessarily mean that the cross class system is going away. So I did a post on this last week and the response to this video has been overwhelming. It's just been really great to kind of see it. And so you, there's been several of you that have just speculated again, like I said, that just because we're getting the cross roll doesn't mean we're losing our cross class abilities. Because the question and the core of what I was asking is, 
What happens to Paladin and their white magic abilities? Paladin shares a base class with Conjurer. And so because of that shared abilities, you can take Cure and Stone Skin and Protect and those abilities that you can have on your Paladin at any time. The theory that I have is that if we go cross roll, what happens to that? And I feel like we're probably going to see those abilities make their way into the Gladiator or the Paladin ability set, but that isn't a guarantee and we really won't know anything till May 8th. But if you are right, this actually fundamentally changed the direction I see Final Fantasy going. I said in the past, and Yoshi P's even kind of teased this, that the you know the, the class system really doesn't belong. It doesn't really fit into the game in and of itself anymore. It made sense in 1.0, less than 2.0, even less than 3.0, and now we're getting into 4.0. And Yoshi P even said that if they were going to get rid of the class system, it would happen at, with at least 5.0 or maybe even later because of the amount of work that's going to be needed with quests, text, lore, all of that. There's just a lot of effort that has to go in to him but that's the direction i see us on and move, removing cross class here is just one less thing they have to kind of adjust later so keeping it again changes that concept that i have in my mind again this is all my opinion and i'd love to know yours but it is interesting it it is it fundamentally changes it and that kind of ties into the idea that some of you all said so you have the in the in the benchmark warrior has the uh, the charge ability that they show off that kind of that gap closer that thing that I love more about Dark Knight and the reason why it kind of became my tank of choice and be able to have that on Warrior would be a huge benefit. Some of you pointed out it kind of also looks like it's Monk's Shoulder Tackle and and because that it looks kind of like the Monk's Shoulder Tackle the speculation is is especially if you have still cross class so even though the Pugilist doesn't get Shoulder Tackle that doesn't mean that that's not going to happen in 4.0. Literally we could see some of those job specific abilities make their way into the base class and because the Marauder, essentially the Warrior, shares from Pugilist, they could effectively almost maybe cross-class that skill. And so then you have the cross-class and the cross-roll working in tandem. So it's an interesting idea, to say the least, and I'd love to know y'all's opinions on it as well. And I guess the last that I have that I've been thinking on for Stormblood, and um, hopefully we'll have the answer here on May 8th, is that with cross-roll, with these abilities, are they something that we have to level the various jobs to, to acquire? Meaning like, let's say I'm a tank and I'm you know playing Dark Knight. Do I need to level up Paladin and Warrior to have access to all of my cross-roll abilities? Or do you guys feel that this is going to just be a pool of abilities that maybe are unlocked at various levels? So for example, let's say you're level 60, you might have access to five cross-roll abilities. But then as you level up 62, 65, et cetera, you, that, that pool opens up. The abilities that you can choose from opens up and then you can make ideally some, you know, whether some tough decisions. I'm really hoping that they're tough decisions because that will help bring in diversity into the builds. But even still with that, there is a balancing issue. I know a lot of people will meta the game and there'll be a right way to play. So hopefully that either is a long time coming or that they set up the skills so that you really have a lot of flexibility in how you set up your various, uh, your jobs and their builds. Anyway, I digress, you know, I'm, these are just my, my rambling thoughts and what I'm looking forward to learning about Stormblood ideally here in the next week. But I'd love to know your thoughts and your opinions on anything we talked about here today, whether it's the cross role, cross class system, whether it's the abilities making you stay within your current job, changing to an existing job, or if you're still really planning on playing Samurai or Red Mage at the, re the release, as well as the thoughts on the shirt and everything that we're kind of doing here at the channel. So, but anyway, for work to game my name's Ryan. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next. But until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Take care. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to check out any other videos, <laughs> you should click over here. <laughs> and then we've got uh, like some kind of vlog thing down here in the corner. <laughs> and then we've got like <laughs> subscribe. Have you get, yeah, like that's really, you should totally do it. This was a complete <laughs> disaster.